All right, guys, let's take a look at this 1982 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Solid, good looking, driver quality car. But for the bang for the buck, this is an excellent deal for someone. Great entry into G bodies. Solid start, good eyeball. Again, not perfect. You look right here on the front, there's a mount for a front license plate. There's a little crack in there on the chrome. Bezels are in good shape, but things you expect from a 1982. A little chipping on the paint, chip there. The uh, header panel emblem is missing. All the lower trim is there in good shape back bumper is nice there's a chip there 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 sitting on a set of Krager SS's that actually have no pitting to them. Well, minimum. There's some, somebody. But they look good on the car. We'll take a look at the inside, pop the hood, trunk, all that good stuff. But this one's kind of a no brainer. Will make them mention the window sweeps are old. Dash is really nice on this car. Aftermarket steering wheel, aftermarket tech. Car shows 44907 on the dash. BM shifter does have an aftermarket stereo. Headliner's been changed. We try to call these cars as best as possible. Do the same on the other side real quick. There you go. All right, guys, let's get a quick look inside the trunk. Nice and solid. Clean in there. Seams are all good. Over the wheel wells. Down into the quarters. Good, solid OG body. A little bit of surface there. Jams are all nice. And so is the deck lid. And again, that is literally this surface. There we go. All right, guys, let's take a look up underneath the hood. car does not have an Oldsmobile motor. It, uh, that is a Chevy motor in this car. That's an upgrade. I don't care how you look at it. Uh, with that being said, there is no AC compressor. 
the box looks to be in good shape. Everything's there. A compressor bracket and lines, and you should have AC. Nothing crazy on the exhaust. Nice little rumble, a nice stock car. All right, I thought that I had a lift video, but I do not.